Hello from Amsterdam. I am here in the most charming, relaxing, laid back, beautiful city of Amsterdam. I love it here. The last time I was here was fall of 2018, right when I had moved to France and Europe for the first time. I had just moved a few weeks prior to France and it was a really fun trip. I really loved it. I had a really good time. I went to a Disney audition and I was very driven and very excited and very passionate about getting that audition and hoping, hoping to book that role working at Disneyland Paris as a princess. But I'm so excited to be here. Five years later, I'm about to turn 29. I'm in the middle of my Saturn return. Spring of 2023 and I'm feeling so good and so happy here. And you might be wondering, but Helena, you're on your Saturn ascendant line. Isn't that hard? For me, Saturn isn't hard. Saturn is a great placement for me. I have a strong Saturn. Um, in Vedic astrology, my Saturn's in Aquarius, which I don't use Vedic astrology, but I do study it. I do research it. I've taken a class on it. I've read books. One of my favorite astrologers is a Vedic astrologer, and so I go to him sometimes to look at my Vedic astrology. So on that sense, I have a good Saturn. But my Saturn is also enclosed by the benefics. So Jupiter is striking a ray, a trine to my Saturn, which Jupiter is my best planet according to sect, which is determining if you're a day chart or a night chart. And if you're a day chart, Jupiter is your best planet and your most helpful planet. And so when it's trining or forming an angle, an aspect to a harder planet, it's supporting that, which is awesome. It's lightening that a little bit. And then I also have Venus squaring my Saturn, which is also any type of square from a benefic to a malefic is very helpful. It's like getting some positive support to your malefic planet. And Saturn is a malefic. Mars and Saturn are the malefic planets. But for me, Mars is a lot more harder than Saturn is. And so I'm actually loving the energy here. I will say though, I it's a different energy. When I'm here on my Saturn Ascendant, I am here to get shit done. I am very focused. I'm very disciplined. The habits, the routines, I'm very focused on time. Like how much time do I have? Is this a good way to use my time? Am I being efficient? Am I being productive? Am I using my time well? That is the energy when you go to a Saturn line. It's always gonna come up because Saturn represents time and aging and seriousness and discipline and the long lasting enduring effects of doing something. And so every time I go to a Saturn ascendant line, whether it's here or Montpellier, like where I was last summer, I am always so productive, focused. I don't really wanna socialize. Having fun and like enjoyment and just pleasure for the sake of pleasure, which is usually my default. Like it's I'm very easy for me to live slowly and pleasurably, you know, just with my chart being a Taurus, all of these things. But like when I go to my Saturn line, it's a different energy. It's imperative if you're into astrocartography to look at your natal chart and to see what aspects are hitting that planet to determine the sect of your chart and also what sign is your planet in? Is it in its domicile, fall, detriment, Exalted, you know, these are all things that are gonna tell you more about the energy of that planetary line if you decide to go toward that planetary line on your astrocartography map. You know, this is something that I feel like not a lot of people do. They don't look at the aspects. They don't look at how their natal planet is positioned in the chart and it's so important. So if you are planning to go to your Saturn line, I would not rule it off completely. If you're planning to go to your Pluto IC line, which a lot of astrocartographers will tell you is terrible, look at your Pluto line. Does it have positive aspects? Because sometimes, Pluto lines can be some of the best planets, planetary lines to go to in terms of astrocartography. I have a client who moved to LA to his Saturn, his Pluto MC, his Pluto Midheaven, which has to do with career and visibility and exposure and being seen, your social reputation. He became famous. He, he's a famous, you know, film and music video director. And moving to that Pluto MC line is one of the best, most successful places for him. He's got a strong Pluto in his chart. So, you know, this is just an example of how like, not every place is gonna be bad just because you go to a Saturn Ascendant or just because you go to a Pluto IC line, it doesn't mean it's a bad place. It just has a different energy. And for me, my Saturn is super supported. It's very positive and it's very productive and efficient. And it's good at utilizing time, which is exactly what I've been doing since I got here to Amsterdam. I am just writing. I took a call with my business coach this morning. I have been getting so many ideas and just using my time really wisely and efficiently. And also I am having a good time. I am having a fun time and I'm enjoying the work. And the thing is a lot of 
In astrology, there's this term that I've heard from Ann Ortley. Ann Ortley is a famous astrologer. She's been doing this for like 40 years. I love her podcast, but she says something all the time in her podcast that's do your Saturn. Do your Saturn. If you don't know, if you're lost, if you're confused, if you don't know what to do, do your Saturn. And that basically says like, what is your Saturn and your chart telling you? What's the energy of that Saturn? And how can you utilize your Saturn? Saturn is asking you to use your time wisely to do what's necessary for you to do well in life, to thrive in life, to make the most of the time you're given on earth. That is Saturn. That is what Saturn asks of us. And so when you feel lost, when you feel confused, when you feel like you don't know what to do, look at your natal Saturn and do your Saturn. What house is it in? What area of life needs some responsibility? Cleaning up. Oh no, my earring fell out. What aspects is it making to other planets and how can you utilize those relationships with other planets to more efficiently, thoroughly work with Saturn. And Saturn wants routine. Saturn wants habits and habit building and getting disciplined and doing the thing regardless if it feels like a drain or not, doing it anyway. I mean, look at this, I got green juice. I never drink green juice. This is too healthy for me. This is what Saturn Ascendant does to me. I want to be productive and healthy and drink and eat well. Good things that may not taste very good, but they're good for the body. This is the Saturn Ascendant energy I'm talking about. Saturn says, feel the fear and do it anyway. Feel the uncomfortability of this habit of building this enduring, sustainable, healthy habits and do it anyway. That's what Saturn asks. And so don't be afraid of your Saturn lines, guys. Really look at your chart. Look at your natal placement. That's going to tell you so much more information. I'm on my Saturn ascendant line right now. It's only been day two, but I remember last time I visited Amsterdam, I really loved it. I was here for like five days, four or five days, and I loved it. And the thing about astro cartography is you can feel the energy immediately. A lot of people think that you have to live somewhere for like a year before you activate the energy. Not true. You can feel it immediately. I felt it immediately the minute I got to Amsterdam. I was like completely different energy. Um, yeah. So also look at those parans, guys. Parans and local space lines. Those are going to be a big help. Currently in cyclocartography, I also have my Saturn ascendant line transiting or progressing. Uh, transiting through to where I am right now in Amsterdam. So I'm going through my Saturn return in a really big way in this location and uh, feeling great, doing well, working, at, working, doing a lot of things. But um, yeah, just wanted to send this little video to kind of inspire you to not be afraid of those, those heavier planetary lines because there's a lot of fear mongering out there. I am now teaching locational astrology from around the world. If you'd like to learn from me, I'm going to be teaching you seven modules filled of information in regards to how to find your best planetary lines, parans, local space, how to time your travels and moves, and also how to read and understand a relocated natal chart. Whether you're a beginner to astrology or you're an astrologer wanting to add astrocartography to your services, I'm so excited to teach you everything that I've learned after working with nearly a thousand clients over the past year. Astrocartography is the future. This work is so important and so valuable. If your intuition says it's a fit and you feel ready to learn more about the astrology of place, click the link in my description to learn more details about the class and enroll. Happy travels.